Hi, it's Jeff Challen. In this week's lab, we're looking at how to do UI design. And for many of you, this will be an uncomfortable and a little bit of a daunting task. But I want to point out the fact that Android Studio has some nice tools built into it to help you with this. So let's show you how to get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up the layout for your particular app. For the activity that we're working on in Lab 12, that particular app only has one activity, and that activity only has one layout. And what you'll, where you'll find that is in the Android view, in app uh, res, this is the resource folder, layout, activity main.xml. This is an XML file, and we'll see why in a minute. Um, when you work on your final project, it's possible that you'll, your app might have multiple activities. That's not required. Each activity can have multiple layouts. It's also possible to define different layouts for uh, your activity when it's shown in portrait and landscape mode, if you want to lay out uh, things differently that way. But in this case, we're just going to focus on looking at one uh, particular layout. So when you open this in Android Studio, what you'll see is that um, usually by default, it'll bring up something called the design view. And this is a pretty, pretty rich uh, set of information. So one thing I like to do usually is uh, close off some of these other toolbars um, well, the attributes view is use useful. So what are the different parts of the screen? So here's kind of a mock-up of what my UI is going to look like. Um, over here, I have uh, the tree of components that's being used. And if I click on one, you'll see over here in the attributes area, it brings up some information about that component. Here I have a library of different components that I can use um, that I can add to my layout. You'll see when I click on the layout that this blue uh, bar shows up here in the mockups. And what that's showing me is um, the boundaries of this particular part of the layout. Um, this is uh, a layout element, which we'll discuss in a minute. This is a container for other things. So what this does is it organizes um, and determines how the items inside of it are actually going to show up. Um, so over here, you'll see that I have different types of components that I can add to my layout. I've got other layouts. I have uh, things like an image view, a web view, a video view, a calendar view. You can imagine what some of these do. I've got buttons, normal buttons, buttons that have an image, checkboxes, radio buttons, switches, things like this. I've got text, various types of text input fields that I can add. Um, so there's a whole library of these types of things. Um, sometimes next to them, you'll see a little download icon. That means that you actually have to download something to, to use this component, but that's easy to do. All right, so this is the design view. You'll see down here we're in the design view mode. There's also something called the text view. And let me show you this. Now, this can be a little bit more frightening if you're not used to reading XML. So here's our text view. Remember that I said that this particular file is itself an XML document. And what that means is that all of the markup that you might do uh, as you build your Android UI is actually represented in a markup language that's called XML. And if you're familiar with HTML, XML looks a little bit like HTML, except that there are many, many different more tags. So this is a tag of type linear layout. This tag has a bunch of properties. Uh, it says layout width means match parent, means it's gonna consume, in this case, the entire width of the screen. Layout height is match parent, means it's gonna consume the other height of the screen. Layout orientation, in this case, is vertical, meaning that the items I put inside of this linear layout are going to be oriented vertically. Okay, so you know when, when you're getting started with this kind of UI design, I suggest that you try to use the design view as much as possible because it's graphical, it's sort of what you see is what you're gonna get, um, but you may wanna to start to flip back and forth, and we're gonna encourage you in this activity to flip back and forth between the design and the text view, uh, just so you get a sense of how the, the view itself is actually being represented.